So in a previous lesson, we learned about DNA and how it makes copies of itself, as well as how proteins are made to express traits in living organisms. So let's look at, again at DNA. And when it's making copies of itself, sometimes it doesn't always go perfectly. Just like playing a game of telephone, uh, where you tell your friend uh, a secret and then they tell somebody else and they tell somebody else, over a long repeated uh, times of the secret, it might change ever so slightly. So, so very similarly, when making copies, sometimes there's mistakes or slight changes and we call that a mutation. So uh, just a reminder that genes in DNA, those are located on chromosomes and each gene controls a specific protein. And as I said before, those control traits. Now, what is a mutation? A mutation is a permanent change in the DNA. Now, this can control the pr uh, production of different proteins. Um, it can change an organism's, alter an organism's traits. And mutations, where could they come from? They could be triggered by environmental factors, such as exposure to x-rays or ultraviolet light, maybe even radioactive materials, and possibly some chemicals. So when this happens, the only way to pass this mutation down to the next generation is if it, the DNA is actually altered. So um, it would have to change the organism's genotype or their actual genes, okay? So um, even though this happens in your genes, um, the, and we said there's some environmental factors, most mutations are actually ra happen randomly. Now there's different types of mutations. So if you look down here, there's some different types of mutations. So while making copies of itself, uh, you can see the nitrogen bases that we learned about previously. Here's the original one, and it wants to make a copy, but sometimes it accidentally makes a substitution. There's supposed to be a CG here, but then, oops, here's a TA instead of the CG. So you notice how it's been replaced. Another type of mutation could be an insertion. There's an extra nitrogen base pair. So we call that insertion, where there's an extra one that has been added in. Or they could possibly, while it's making a copy, deletes it. It's gone. It used to be there, but now it's gone. So it's important to know that there are different types of mutations in the DNA while making copies. Um, go ahead and read about uh, blue eyes and how blue eyes is actually a mutation. So we wanna go ahead and read through that and answer the questions in your notes. So when a mutation happens, um, this, as I said, affects the DNA sequence. Um, it depends, it also depends on where, where in the D DNA sequence the mutation happens. And of course, the type of mutation we just talked about. Because where it happens in the DNA is going to uh, show in different ways. So remember, it changes the proteins, it's gonna change your trait, but Sometimes it's a good thing. It's going to benefit the organism to be positive, um, but it could also be negative and it could turn into a genetic disorder. So here's, um, go ahead and read about these different genetic disorders. We've got cystic fibrosis and what that ends up happening if you, if uh, this happen, this uh, affects someone is it can cause mucus to block up in the lungs and affect their digestion. Breast cancer and ovarian cancer um, you can, it could increase your risk of developing this cancer if you have a defect in one of your chromosomes. Williams syndrome, they're actually missing. This is that deletion, you're missing part of your chromosome and um, it makes the blood vessels uh, strong and stretchy. So it kind of weakens that. Um, and then there's PKU um, in which the genes cannot break down amino acids, okay? And you can research uh, any one of these, find out a little bit more about it, and write that in your notes. All right, let's go ahead and turn the page. And here's an investigation. Um, so there's different mutation classifications. So we've got positive, 
okay? And then if something is positive, it's going to benefit the organism. It's gonna be uh, something that helps the organism. There's negative, okay, negative mutation, and this is gonna be harmful. It's gonna hurt the organism. It's not gonna be good for it, okay? And then finally, there is a neutral mutation, and that's neither harmful or helpful. Um, it's just there, doesn't really do anything for that particular uh, organism. So let's go ahead and look through these, and you're gonna mark over here if you think that is positive, negative, or neutral, and then you're also going to write it in your notes. So eye color, so even though genes for brown eyes mutate to blue eyes, is that gonna be helpful, harmful, or doesn't really matter to an organism such as humans? The next one, lactose tolerance, not intolerance, tolerance, meaning humans are able to process lactose unlike other mammals. Humans are the only ones who actually drink milk from another animal. All other mammals drink milk from their own um, parent and that's it. So the fact that humans can drink milk from other animals such as cows, sheep, goats, is that a positive, a negative, or it doesn't really matter. Think about um, when you're trying to survive. If you could not drink certain milks, but you could drink other milks, would that be positive, negative, or neutral for survival? And then finally, color blindness. So there is a mutation on the X chromosome um, where a person cannot see certain colors. Um, do you think this is positive, negative, or neutral? And this is tough in this day and age because do we need to see certain colors? Do we need to see all the colors? Not quite sure. And go ahead and write those in your notes as well. Finally, asthma. Do you know someone with asthma? Go ahead and read about what asthma does uh, and what it is and uh, what possibly causes it and answer the questions in your notes.